I've designed a new Mavericks Wave Ripple Knitted Blanket for you. It is inspired by Mavericks Surf Spot, which is right on the other side of the windows here in Studio Knit. Right outside my window is Surfer's Beach, and if you go further around those cliffs, that is where the world famous Mavericks Surf Spot is located. This is a really special blanket design. It's nice and light and airy with a little bit of lace eyelets. And you can really customize the colors, totally change up the look. Right now, the Maverick Surf Awards are happening, so this is the perfect time to premiere this new design for you. We have a small little coastal community. However, this location is world-renowned. The first-class surfers from all around the world come to take part, so we have an international spotlight on us today. After I shared the Ripple Ridge lace knit stitch pattern with you recently, I got so many requests for knitted projects and blankets topped the list. I think the second requested was a shawl and I think it would be pretty fun to create a shawl design for you in the future as well. For my sample, I'm using Good Wool by Pearl Soho. That's simply because it's something that I had in my stash and I thought would be a good choice. You can knit it in any fiber, any yarn that you'd like. This is a lightweight number two yarn. However, if you'd like to get creative and you have yarn in different gauges in your stash, by all means, go ahead and get crafty, create your own blanket design. And our knitting needle is a circular needle. Even though we're knitting it flat, the circular needle allows us to knit the entire blanket flat in one piece. I'm using number eight us and that is a larger needle than my yarn recommends however it allows the lace and the stitch to have a bit more of an open weave and of course you'll want to have scissors and a tapestry needle on hand if you'd like to block your work then blocking mats and t-pins are really helpful and if you're happy to see this new blanket design, go ahead and like up this video. It lets me know that you'd like to see more creative ideas just like this. I have it in six different sizes for you. Over on my website, totally for free, is this size, the throw size. I give you all of the information you need. And in my Studio Knit shop, available for purchase, I show all six different sizes and I break out the different color changes and exact yarn amounts that you'll need. So let's knit it up. No matter which blanket size you choose, we are casting on in multiples of 13 stitches. And for this throw size here, I'm casting on 169 stitches total. We begin the bottom border with six rows of the knit stitch. So that's a garter stitch border. And then we begin the Ripple Ridge Stitch. I highly recommend adding little stitch markers. I just use scraps of yarn to separate each 13th stitch so that you can easily keep track of the pattern as you knit it along. There are eight rows in this stitch pattern. The first three stitches are simply knitting all. So you'll knit every single stitch for rows one, two, and three. And then we are purling all on row four. So now the lace technique begins here on row five or on the right side of our work. We begin by knitting four stitches and then we're going to be increasing these 13 stitches into 19 with yarn overs. So we yarn over and knit one five times. So you yarn over and knit, yarn over and knit. Continue doing that five times, finishing with one additional yarn over. So you'll have six total yarn overs in this section. And then finish those last four stitches, just knitting four. And continue knitting this stitch pattern all the way to the end of the row. Row six is quite simple, it's purling all. However, I encourage you as you're purling to really be mindful of those yarn overs. Sometimes the yarn tends to crisscross each other 
in the wrong spaces. So make sure you're doing the yarn over and that knit stitch, you're purling all of those stitches in the correct order as you go. Then just one final lace technique row, it's row seven. So we're beginning by decreasing K2 together, knitting two together, and we're doing that three times. Then it's simply knitting seven stitches. And our final six stitches are SSK three times. Now, if this is new to you, I'm slipping one stitch knitwise, the second stitch knitwise, and then we are going to knit into it using our left needle. And you'll see, I tend to like to sort of pull my yarn down a little bit using my right hand. And that allows me to insert my needle into those stitches a little bit easier. And we are finishing up those eight rows on row eight by simply knitting all. Anytime you would like to change yarn colors, do so on row one. Oh, I also highly encourage using point protectors in between knitting on this long circular needle. Your work has a tendency to slip off those needles when you put it away in a knitting bag or just if it's on a, on a shelf or on a table, but the point protectors help keep all of your stitches on the needle. Once your blanket is the length you desire, then we are going to do eight more rows of the knit stitch. And to bind off, I'm just doing the classic bind off that I use on most of my projects, doing it a little bit loosely so that you don't have that really tight edge. And then it's time to weave in your yarn ends. Of course, if you have been changing yarn colors, you have quite a bit of yarn ends to weave in. Just weave those in on the wrong side of your work. And I do encourage weaving the same yarn and colors with the same colors in the blanket. It just gives it a cleaner look when you're finished. You know that I typically recommend blocking your work. However, with this project, I feel it's totally optional. It looks great fresh off the needles. That undulating wave pattern just happens naturally. It's not something that you need to force in your blocking. Of course, I did block this sample because I always think that it pops better in photographs. It lies flatter. You can see the texture um, especially well after blocking, but you know, it does look really good off your needles. Since this is a larger piece, I don't have enough blocking mats to block the whole piece at once. So I just did it in sections. So we are headed off to Maverick Surf right now. We love walking our dog in that area and the seals love barking right back at her. If you'd like to check out the Maverick Surf Awards, I have a link for you in the description. I'm so happy to add the Mavericks Wave blanket to my collection. Check out other designs that may inspire you, all in different sizes as well, and I will see you there.